All right, guys. Um, I set up a webcam. This is sort of uh, my first time, at least downstairs, doing it on my rig. I'm going to put a link in the description box so you guys could see my gaming setup, my rig, and all that stuff. If you guys want to check that out, that's uh, I, I'm try to make that happen. Let's go here. I got to expand this. Okay, we're going to try something right now. Some of you already uh, suggested this. We had an issue where every time we pit, they would do the whole fixed damage sequence thing. So let's just um, try to make a pit stop. Somebody said... Uh, Welcome to Kansas Speedway. I should go into the settings. Push, push race, race settings. I'm not, not the uh, before the race, but today from this mile and a half trioval. We're gonna. I really have a hard time juggling all this, so I'm sure it's gonna start at the wrong. All right. Go to track. Uh, yeah, yep, there it goes. This is it. Get focused. All right, so I'm gonna ease off. I gotta figure out the uh right there it is. Minimal. Um wait a minute. None. Confirm is Okay. Well let's see if Yeah, it's saved. Well now let's just go make a pit stop and hopefully they don't go through the whole Repair, even though there's no damage. Thing. I don't know what speed I'm. We'll keep it towards the left of the pit, because I think. Oh oh, see, so wanted a. It's like you run over a banana peel, but I think if. If you enter the pits and you're all the way to the outside and you're one of the first pit stalls, I guess trying to make that abrupt left at the last second is what causes the car to spin out. I think. I'm guessing. Come on, guys. Let me go. Let me go. All right. Okay. You guys were right. But I will say this. Why does it say caution? All right. That's a, that's a bug. All right. So, you have to physically go in the setup uh, adjustments and select um, no damage uh, repairs. Obviously, that should not be the way it works. If you don't have any damage, you should default to no repairs. If you want to do some repairs because you have damage, that's when you select it. Um... So that's easily something that can be changed or fixed. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to have to look for that stuff. Right now, it's really hard for me to juggle. I got a mouse. I got my PS4 controller and the wheel, which we cannot map any buttons to. So it's really hard for me to jump back and forth. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick... Um, I'm not going to do this track because I did this already. Just wanted to check... So yeah, that's a clean pit stop. It's still slow, but you guys who did say, hey, go in there and take off repairs, you were right. But that's not the way it should work. It should be automatic. If you don't have damage, it should default to no repair. You know, so that's, yeah, that's not good. Um, is there anybody online? Let's take a look. Maybe I could jump online. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll pick, I wish I, man, it sucks, you can't, All right, I'm sure nobody's in bump and run, everybody likes to be at, uh, Daytona, Talladega, that's all people want to run, I fucking hate those tracks, I just, I never got the fascination people have with just running these conga line races. Yeah, there's nobody here. Let's try 
super speedways. If there is anybody, I'm sure that that's where they are. It's only really a handful of people that are playing, so yeah. It might be for the best. Let's get out of here. Alright, we'll try something different. I don't have a lot of time today. I wasn't even going to get on, but I did set up the webcam. I want to make sure everything works. Let me know if you guys can see everything clearly. Is the webcam working correctly? Uh, how's the sound? Things like that. I mean, I, in many ways, I'm like your grandparents. You know, if you ever go visit your grandmother, your grandfather, and they want to send somebody a text, you got to sit there and show them how to do it. I'm really not that far away from that. So I try to figure things out as best as I can. I grew up on consoles. Consoles are very easy. Plug and play. All right. What well, haven't we tried? I am not ready for some of this stuff. I did try to take a few laps on dirt. I cannot even complete a lap there. I think you... There's no point where you could mash the throttle, I think. I'm not going to put you guys through that. I don't want to just do mile and a half because those are my favorites. I know you guys want to see something else if you're watching. Um... We'll try Richmond. I mean, I did some of that yesterday. No, all right, Phoenix. I did some Richmond yesterday. I did find Richmond to be a pretty decent track, um, all Welcome things considered. Welcome to Avondale, Arizona for the Instacart 500. Alex Hayden here Skip. bringing you all of the action from today's Skip. Duel in the Desert. We are... This is all I'm going to try today, and then I, I got other things I got to do. Just gonna go to the track. I know it's gonna be in the wrong. Skip. Okay. Now, somebody, a couple of other people have mentioned that in cockpit the sound is not right, and they're correct. There is really not much to the engine sound in cockpit mode. Yeah, just gave me control. You got to be real careful. All right, we're going to take it easy, easy. We only have stable setup. Yeah, you got to be careful because uh, I don't know how these guys do it on a hand controller, man. I really got to respect their game. This is my first time at Phoenix. I think of all the people that have gotten early copies, I have probably spent the least amount of time on the game and it's because I'm really busy. Whoa, I was gonna floor it there. I was gonna spin out, yeah. I gotta say, um, the car physics to me, are pretty good. Even in this early stage of the, where the game is, they're not arcadey, in my opinion. Now, some of you guys that are really good at Sims, you might look at this and say, yeah, this is pretty arcadey to me. But I do think this is a, a, at least a step above arcade. It's not going to be something you can manhandle around the track. You're going to have to you know, be careful with the throttle. Yeah, it definitely has a different feel. Um, I I would say it's a big improvement over the Heat series. So that's a positive. At least at tracks I've run, especially these uh, mile tracks, you know, something not from a, a mile and a half to like short track feel is really good 
And considering the setup is crap, right? You, all we got is the stable. And I'm sure with a good setup, you could really hustle it around. So I'm just feeling my way around. I can't really, I'm not going to get push it a little harder. Huh? Let it coast. Oh. Yeah, I like a tighter steering ratio, as you guys have heard me say. Now that I have the cam on, you can see how much wheel I got to put into it to get the car to respond. That's your steering ratio. And some people like that. They like having to crank the wheel. Um, and it also does help keep uh, the car a little bit from being so twitchy. And it does save on tire wear. But I think, I mean, for me, I, I like the feel of a tighter ratio. I like where it's really tight, where it, you just move it a little bit and it responds. It's not going to be as good for tire wear, but I don't like having to put more wheel into it. It's just a preference thing. And yeah, you really got to play with the throttle. So obviously, I'm just coasting around. Whoa, yeah, if you take it in really aggressively, and if you're not careful and you try to diamond it, um, it will, the back end feels like it wants to come around. Okay, you gotta be on edge. All right, so we'll try to survive. Maybe it'll get interesting if I can catch some cars. This must be like the worst gameplay that you guys watch. I'm not... It takes me a while to get the hang of things. Even when I joined iRacing, um, it took me a little bit <laughs> to you know, like just get away from that NASCAR heat feel and really get adjusted to it and now I'm comfortable with it I jump in and I can hustle the car around somewhat and I, I'm still feeling this game out and I haven't put as much time into it as other uh, strict youtubers have I might be one of the guys who, with the least amount of time on it um, I'm, I'm trying I just don't have a lot of time I would love to just start doing some career mode stuff, but it's just not ready. Like, I'm not ready to do it, and it's I'm not comfor comfortable enough with the way the game is. It's, I'm, I don't think we would get anything out of it. Um, and I don't want to put you guys through some really crappy uh, career mode stuff if it's not ready. Right now, I'm just trying to gauge how this game feels in, in a more serious setting. So I, I tend to try to treat it like it's a regular normal race. So I'm, I'm definitely not as aggressive as most guys. I really do tend to baby the card just a little bit until I am comfortable. Then I can push it. There are moments where the car feels like it wants to come around if, if I just get into the corner a little too aggressively. So this is not, I mean, back here, I can't tell what's going on up front, but this is what you want to see with the AI. They're kind of spread out, at least back here. All right, I made my first pass. Easy, 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 easy. Okay, let it rotate. I can hear the car on the outside, so those sounds are really good. It's just I'm not getting a lot of in-car uh, engine sound. And I, from what I've heard or seen other people talk about is the cockpit uh, mode does have, well, the cockpit view 
has a bit of a bug with the sound where you're not getting all the sound you're supposed to get and when you switch to a different camera then you hear everything so I just I can't really do anything other than in car uh, driving that third person stuff is car right. not natural car right. still there clear clear yeah, I wanted to get on the gas there. I had to hold off a little bit because um, the car will spin out, man, if you're too aggressive on, on the gas. And this is this is what we want uh, when it comes to physics. We want a car that, you know, you can't just go in there and mash the throttle and, and like, overdrive the car and not pay a penalty for it. Like, right there, I just got a little bit loose. You got to constantly ease your way in and out. Especially at short tracks. And I found the same thing at Richmond. But this is good. Um, so far, uh, the cars are spread out a bit. Now, I can start getting just a little more aggressive as I get into a rhythm. It's really important to get into a rhythm. That's where you make time. And I know what the car likes and, and with the stable setup, easy in, easy out, don't overdrive corner. Now these guys are kind of in a, you know, line, but this is, whoa, 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 overdrove, 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 uh, no good. Yeah, I screwed that up. Yep. Uh, you see how much wheel I got to put into it to get the car to turn? I don't like that. Got one right. All yeah, clear. that was bad. All clear. But look, um, I mean, the field is spread out. Yeah, I messed that up, man. I, all right, you know what I'm going to do? Right. I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to start over. Uh, I want to see if that's an anomaly or is... I don't know. Maybe the racing here is not bad. Um, restart. No. Restart. All right. It's the only. T I, I'm, I'm not gonna keep doing this. I just seeing that the AI is kind of spread out somewhat nicely. I wanna give it a shot. You know, I I really do need practice. As I said, it's not. It's not like the heat games. You're not going to be able to just jump in and and just mash the throttle. Um, and that's a good thing. So I, I really am kind of trying to get used to the physics and the track with this setup. Also, like I said, I, I am not comfortable with that steering ratio. You really got to put more wheel into it than... And I'd, I'd like. So this time, I'm going to try to keep up with them a little bit more. Yeah, man. You really got to have your foot like on, on an eggshell, as they say. Rotate. And yeah, I, I overdrove it. And that's what ruined that last race. But I, I was starting to make headway. But it's a good thing because are we going to see the, the AI spread out like they did in the last race? This is not bad. Like, for the first couple of laps, it looks almost natural. Maybe in short tracks, they do kind of. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to get carried away. But this is the first track I've seen where it seemed like they spread out. Properly. Right. Easy, 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 easy. Rotate. Just give it just enough gas. Keep your momentum up, but you can't can't just mash it. Right there, I got on it. Now I got it. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Yeah, I got to... Wish I could change the steering ratio. But even if you change your setup, I mean... 
you're stuck with whatever steering ratio for a given track or is it does it change with the setup um, it sucks man you want to have more options because even if I'm stuck with the stable setup I know if I like uh, shorten that steering ratio I would get more comfortable it's tough driving a car that you're not comfortable with like but physics wise I gotta say guys I mean if you're looking for some positives I have to say the car physics are not far off man for a video game They're starting to spread out. I mean, they're still kind of close, but it's still early. It's only lap six. It doesn't look bad. I don't know if they did something to the game. I'm sure it's not like this everywhere, but well, maybe this track just happens to work. This is good. I mean, this looks like a natural race that you would see uh, in real life. They're spreading out, and we're in the back. So I don't know if the front is spread out or not. But before, I, when I spun out in the last race, you could see that the leaders come back around and lap me, and they were kind of spread out. So maybe we found a, a, a track that actually is going to give you some good racing. I would hope. And I like Phoenix. This is a good, yeah. Look, in that 51, he's a bit squirrely. I don't. I like that stuff. It looks like he. Oh no! no, no. Clear, oh, clear. Clear. Car right. All right. I avoided clear contact. But I like stuff like that when it's appropriate. Stay left. Car right. Clear, clear, clear. Easy, easy. Now the one thing that so far I've seen that I that I also don't like it seems like if you just stay out long enough the 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 tire wear of the AI is way more than your car and you're just gonna pass cars just by default like if just just for staying out there also the AI does pit early and they basically hand you an easy victory if you stay out there. But I, when they pit, I, I just pit after them because I don't want to be handed a win like that. You know, that's not a real win. And if I could stay on an even, oh man, I forgot to take off the repairs. If I end up pitting, screw. And I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to uh, while I'm driving. That's why you got to be able to map the controls to the wheel. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to take the repairs off. That sucks, man. All right, we're going to push a little more now. You got to stop being a pussy about it. But I like this. This is like when you're right up against somebody and you're trying to make a pass and you can't make a mistake, like right here, I cannot overdrive. But I stick with it. Well, yeah, see, you gotta, you can't just match the throttle. All right. Car right. Clear, right. clear, clear. Can I clear him? Can I clear him? I don't trust Mr. Tourette's. See, I could. The sound in the game is pretty right. good. Like, now I'm not clear, talking clear. about the bug in the in the uh, cockpit, but the ambient sounds, cars around you. I can tell when that car was on my outside just by hearing it. And it's really good sound design. It's on my right. You can hear it in the uh, headset. That's something that 
you know, I'm surprised. The sound design is better than I was expecting. Um, again, when I say stuff like that, I don't want people to think I'm saying, hey, everything's great. The bugs, the obvious stuff, yes, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the things that work the way they're supposed to work. It's not bad. And as you can see, these cars in front of me, that's the way they're supposed to be spread at this point. You know, we're 16 clear laps left. in. Clear, clear, clear. You got a couple cars close to each other, but you can attack these cars one at a time and make your passes. And that's what makes good, enjoyable racing. Right, I'm, I'm making some headway here. And you just gotta be patient with the throttle. Whoa. Stay left. Yeah, if you're not careful, that car's gonna get squirrely on you. You can't just mash it. And that's why people like the higher horsepower package because you gotta gotta drive the car you can't just mash it and hold the throttle wide open and then just right. fight right. arrow push all day all this clear. is racing now pretty good but like I said once you get into the later whoa later in the run oh my god yeah see once you get later in the run and the tire wear starts kicking in, like I said, the, the AI's tire wears out a lot more than the player. And they start falling back and then it gets easy. And that's got to be fixed. Now, in the heat games, I remember it was the opposite. Your tires would wear out more than the AI. In fact, there were times where you, it just never felt like there was Got any right. any tire wear clear, at clear, all for the clear, AI. Clear. So as you started to fall off and run slower laps, they would just keep running consistent laps. They never got like squirrely or made mistakes. And you know, I like watching cars that kind of make a mistake and struggle. Um, you got a group up here. They're kind of in a bunch. So, yeah, I didn't want to get too far ahead of myself. But at least they're not three and four wide. And that's a positive. Yeah, but I don't like the freight training. And I, I'm not embarrassing myself, I don't think. And I... I think it's on champion. The last time, that's where I had it. Yeah, see, we got this group. Now they're three, there's uh, three wide there. I spoke too soon. But look at the whole field. It's, it's better than what we've been seeing <laughs> up to this point. And I don't know if other people have already discovered this or is this something that is just an anomaly. Now... I ran, this is the second race, like I backed out of the first one, and yeah, they, I mean, it's pretty much what it was when I spun out Got one in the right. first race. Clear, clear, clear. Yeah. Okay, easy, 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 easy. God, don't lose, don't screw this up. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, of course. Man, that's sensitive. Look at how much fucking wheel I gotta put into it. All right, I, that's the race, guys. You got to see some competent racing until I screwed that up. So, let me get out of here. I don't have too much time to mess around. I hope you guys got something out of it and I didn't bore you. Uh, I thought that was pretty good. 
for I mean, considering the way everything is right now, that's as good of a time as I've had on this game. A um, lot of there's a lot a, a long way to go before uh, I get more excited, and I'm not really that excited. But that's that was actually fun for a moment. Um, it'd be nice if you could tweak the settings and uh, and maybe like if if I could make the the adjustments in the car, I could have maybe played with a few settings and and I could have got the car even dialed in more. I still don't know how much of that works and you know because I never get far enough into into a race or a run to test it. And even if I wanted to test it, there's no way I'm going to be able to make those adjustments while I'm in the car racing, especially at a short track. It's not going to happen. And it's just going to end in disaster. But, yeah. So, I thought that was okay. I want to see more of that. Uh, this, the field still is a bit clumpy in areas. And as you saw there, they were three wide. And then it was like... Um, yeah, and then I lost it. That was on me. I, sh I should have been more patient. But you got to see some green flag racing. I did a few laps somewhat competently, and I thought that was as good as I've experienced so far. Uh, I wish I had more moments like that. And, yeah, so um, I hope these guys are making headway with the patches and... And uh, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna really get into a review or anything like that. At least till mid the middle of the week, or at the end of the week. I want to see what happens when they do an official the the official release of the game. I'm not expecting anything, but maybe who knows? You know, on the off chance that they prove me wrong, and maybe they prove to me how much they can do with a patch. You know, I'd love to be wrong. Uh, and it's going to take a while if they are going to get on it and do the right thing and get this game to an enjoyable, somewhat enjoyable uh, state. But uh, let's wait and see what happens. Um, yeah. So those are my thoughts. Uh, let me get out of here. I look forward to your comments. And... Yeah, let me know what you thought. Oh, fuck this. All right. Uh, I look forward to your comments. Later, guys.